Hey folks, and welcome to another episode of our RimWorld Beta 1.0 playthrough. Sorry, not beta. We're in one, we're an official 1.0 release now. Um, yes, yeah, so we've made the update. We're still going no mods. I've, I've kind of thought about sprinkling some in, but I, I figure maybe we just finish this playthrough. I know I keep mentioning that, uh, so that might be old news to many of you. But I think we are on our way to finishing our ship. Um, still got a lot to build, but we've got it laid out. Um, actually, I did go ahead and, and tweak this slightly. I realized <laughs> I couldn't put a... Uh, an engine in the middle of this, but it's because I had it rotated around, so I just flipped it around, and, and this looks a little bit more reasonable to me. Uh, we have no meals. Here go, but here goes Emmy. Okay, she's going to start with the fine meals. Like You have meat right here. Um, let's see, it is great to be back. What are we doing here? We've got a few guys out, right, returning from a mining party. Uh, they've got a ways to go, though. We've got actually some major break risk going on. For Tico, you're back at home, at least. Yeah... Wow, seven day trip, that's right, because we've got some injuries, so I'm hoping they speed that up. Your your movement is poor and poor, so that's slowing things down. But you're, you're tended to, you should get better, uh, and we should hopefully see you guys in less than seven days, even though that's the current estimation. I, I think you'll start accelerating as you go along. Uh, but let's, okay, Tico figured out whatever was going on with him, so and he's going to rest now, it looks like. Uh, you're ravenously hungry, though. Why aren't you going to eat? Can we maybe get someone to come help you eat? Even though you're in, not in a medical bed? No. I don't like you going to bed ravenously hungry. That's strange. I don't have you, like, restricted to sleep. You know, hmm, I, yeah, I'm forcing you to sleep right now. It makes sense for the night owl, because I, he, they won't police themselves in that. But maybe I do take this off. Yeah, I mean, I've kind of always liked the idea of people going to bed at around the same time, just so kind of everyone's at the same level of rest for things like raids and such. But then again, every once in a while, I guess you get something like this where Tico is just going to... Well, I mean, I don't know. He'll rest, he'll get up, he'll he'll eat. He'll, he'll be fine eventually. Um, let's see, what else is going on here? Um, yes, yeah, so we built our ship computer core. You know, before we get too far along, though, I would like to um, lay some lay some uh, tiling down, just to, just to reduce the chance of fire. Maybe even get some fire foams. Although, I guess if there's uh, tiling down, we don't need the fire foams. Well, one piece could burn and, and, and spread to the rest of the ship. I guess is is something to think about. Uh, we are starting to finally acquire some blocks. You know, I'm gonna go marble for this. Yeah, the granite floor, I'll keep that for walls and, and defenses. Um, and yeah, I think I mapped this out off camera, possibly. This additional wall. Um, I'm trying to think of why now. I, I mean, I guess it's extra defense, which is, which is fine. Is that the only reason? Something about this... Huh, I'll have to think about that. But uh, let's go ahead and um, get the floor down, too. Actually, before we get too many pieces in. Uh, so we'll go with a... I guess a full... Sand st or the, the, the flagstone and the, and the tile makes the same amount. The, the flagstone goes down faster. So it kind of makes more sense, but... It doesn't look as workshoppy to me as an actual tile. So I am going to go with a tile here. That's 1,400 marble. That's a ridiculous use of marble. I could go steel. But we're kind of... Yeah, we're not doing great on steel. We only have 65. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to use that ridiculous use of marble. And we'll start hauling these in to get it going, at least. Uh, and speaking of blocks, actually, we do have a little sculpture going for marble. Is it a grand sculpture? Damn it. Well, I guess we'll finish that. The blocks are already allocated, so they're already here. It's just a matter of finishing the work. Uh, but I did notice we had some jade, right? We've got 100, 100 jade exactly, so I'm going to queue up a large sculpture for the jade. Um, we'll just go through this. Yeah, we'll knock out a large sculpture. One time, uh, I don't care who does it. Uh, I guess Lady is out. Tico's a 12. I'm, I'm going to let any worker do it, but make sure you have at least a 12. So it'll be Tico or Lady. Well, where's Serrano going with this? He's hauling it to the stockpile zone. Who was working on that? 
Did it say? Oh yeah, lady. Okay, she's gone. She'll finish that when she can. Uh, when she gets back. Uh, a titty on a shooting frenzy. He's out with the caravan, so if they get ambushed, that could help. Um, I Off camera, I kind of reviewed the work tab a little bit for all these guys back at home. I, it wouldn't let me do it for the guys on the caravan. Uh, so I'll either take a quick look when we get back. Oh, we have no chem fuel. Let's... Oh, actually, I'm going to turn this off too. Wait, not turn off. I'll forbid for now. Um, yeah, I don't want an infestation with these guys all gone. Even though we've got pretty good coverage back at home and all these guns around here. I think I'll feel just a little bit safer if we don't do any mining. Although we do need that steel. And in fact, I'm thinking we might want to expand our drilling. Uh, get a couple more drills up. So we can have more than one person drilling at a time for steel. We kind of went through some exploratory tunnels here. So far we haven't found anything though. Uh, we'll get some marble in. We're going to need it. We did find some components here, though. So that's good. Looks like just two cells. And Johnny, he's got good skill. Yeah, or he might have gotten a third before I got down here. There's Al hauling away. Great to see. Um. Oh, you know. Is Arison here? Back at home? She is. Now, Arison has a destroyed left kidney, but we did acquire a kidney recently. Didn't we? Install kidney, left kidney. Yeah, I think I would like to do that. Who the heck is Barnett? Right, we someone crash landed. So, they're a guest. A very simple tab here. They get medicine. I don't know if they're... What's her health looking like? I mean, she'll be fine, it looks like. I don't know if she has a chance to join or what. I kind of forget how that works. I think it's kind of like a roll of the dice. She might join. She might just go on her way. But I also feel like it's been tweaked slightly throughout Beta 19 and into 1.0. So, we'll see. I don't know how that's going to work. But, that's not why we're here. We're here to get Arison a new kidney. Um, she's sleeping now. Damn it, do I wake her up or wait? I don't want the surgery to happen here. Build complete, make large sculpture. Was that the Jade one already done? Yeah, it must be, right? And it's good. Well, Tico, I guess it's something. Uh, mirror number six from Tico on this work is a representation of a razor. Cool. Uh, uh, it's probably the shortest artistic description I've read in this game. Let's see. Is this? I think this room is considered terrible, right? Um, beauty here, 3.8. Um, room stats. Oh, it's somewhat impressive. Okay. It must have been dirty earlier. Um... Oh, toggle automatic rebuild. I was wondering why that wasn't working. Okay. This is a new feature to 1.0 slash 19. Uh, also part of a quality of life mod uh, where something is destroyed and a blueprint is left in its place here. So guys will automatically rebuild things when they can. I had that toggled off the whole time. I was kind of thinking, I was kind of vaguely wondering what happened to it. So there's the answer. Uh oh, Ares is being attacked already by an Arctic fox. I must have missed this hunting thing. Ares? Is no slouch, although you're already in some serious pain and you haven't landed any any attacks yet on the Arctic Fox. Pacheco. Hopefully you can get there in time. Is anyone else near? Philly is nearby. Just run straight up, and I think you should be able to fire from there, although goddamn a minigun. Well, it's worth it's worth no attempt at all. Um Yeah, no one else is really close. I guess we can get Huber up there. And go for it. Let's see what we get. Serrano doesn't fight. Uh, okay, so here's Pacheco, right? Huber's too close. Sorry, I'm wasting time moving these guys. Okay, uh, let's get you... Philly, let's get you close again. Wait, why aren't you guys fighting? Uh, it's weird. I, I didn't tell them to attack the Arctic Wolf. They did on, on their own, but now they're kind of back to being passive. Alright, so we got the wolf down. Um, dead in four hours. I will do a hunt. I don't think it's going to get back up. If it does, it's not going to go anywhere. If it was a grizzly bear, maybe I'd, I'd change my mind. Because as we saw last episode or the one before, it ended up walking quite a ways. Uh, getting blood everywhere and potentially getting angry again. Uh, so four hours we need to get Ares tended to immediately. Serrano, you're close by. Instead of hauling, why don't you tend to Ares? You know, we usually have... Um, herbal medicine right here to make regular medicine, but uh, we're kind of low. It is very close to our growing season. We could 
get things down now, right? What's the temperature outdoors? Yeah, it's above freezing. Sewing is on for everything. It's a tad risky, but we have so much planting to do. This always looks like it's under a roof to me, but it's not. We have so much planting to do that I don't think it hurts to kind of try and get out there early. So anyway, uh, Aries, you're going to be okay? Great, yeah. So still, okay, Arison is now up. We're going to get this left kidney in. And the reason that's important is if Arison's in a situation where she needs to fight a disease or, you know, the plague or an infection, uh, the status of this left kidney will affect her blood filtration, which is now poor. And poor blood filtration makes it harder to build your immunity. So uh, just having a, a kidney or, you know, a liver issue or something like that floating around could be dangerous in not the immediate future, but in the near future, depending on what happens. Uh... Okay, chance for success doubled for Johnny. I think Arison is already doing the surgery. Or someone's already doing it, so I guess, yeah. Oh, it's happening here. Okay, and you fed her, so I think Arison's okay. Yep, she's fine, so no kidney issue whatsoever, just as good as new. Barnett is out of the hospital and has not joined. So she made her way off the map, I guess. Uh, we do have some food, but man, uh, we need to go hunting, it looks like. Lots of elk. Yeah, they do have a chance to attack, but I'm not too scared of the elk. Uh, we do have three predators, though, that I'll, that I'll take an eye on here. So the warg's way off to the side of the map. That lynx is getting a bit close. And then we've got another red fox. So an animal. Alcatraz has given birth. Did that... Oh, okay. This is not our animal tab. This is the wildlife tab. Something attacked the elk. Uh, a charge rifle. Oh, we're hunting. Okay, never mind. I'll leave them to it. Uh, but Alcatraz has given birth. So we've got ourselves... So just one puppy, Ajax. Welcome, Ajax. We will get your training started, and we will get you into animal two. So you don't leave the compound. And lions coming out here to be sick. You thought you could handle it, huh? But then it ended up being too much. Visiting a grave and just barfing. I hope that's food poisoning. Yeah, Major. I didn't notice... Oh, there's a little chem fuel from our infinite chem reactor. 75 every 10 days. Um, I don't know what caused the food poisoning. I didn't catch it. Uh, but we certainly need more meat in here. At least until our uh, crops start coming in. And... We haven't planted yet, so it'll be some time. Yeah, where? I mean, we have planters back at home, if I'm not mistaken. I did tweak some of this stuff, but uh, yeah, Lines and Johnny are still going to be planting pretty much priority one. Same with Arison, so yeah, we've got people here that are going to do that. I guess they're just waiting for the official day. Which is strange, because I feel like I've seen them going. Oh, here we go. Okay, so it is starting to happen. Yeah, I know, I know I've seen them go early before in the past. Uh, we have a caravan meeting. Um, we will see what they have to trade, although I don't remember what we have, and we probably don't have much in terms of extra weight. Um, this mining trip didn't go so well. People started snapping and fighting and breaking, uh, and you saw that we were injured on our way back, which was slowing us down. No one was killed, uh, but we did lose a muffalo and a baby alpaca that were slaughtered by people that went on uh, mental mental breaks. So that's too bad. So as usual, we weren't able to haul back as much as we would like from one of our mining trips. Um, anyway, how f these guys are only half a day out, so I could buy some food and have them bring it in. They are carrying a thousand silver. What else are you carrying that's interesting? Um, tell you what, take the rest of our beers. Take the rest of our joints. And our tea. We've got plenty at home, and we'll just sell a bit now. And we will buy all your meat. That's 500, huh? Insect jelly? Maybe even some chem fuel? Uh, and then, yeah, so I guess there's, this is as good a time as any to buy a little uh, neutromine and components. Our mass still fine. See, I took all of your components. Well, we can't afford that. We can afford about half, though. No? 10? Not even 10. 11 it is, or 9 it is, and you have an animal bed. Yeah, we'll keep our bedrolls, and that'll be fine. 
and we'll see you guys very soon. Half a day. Great. Uh, so, imp relations improved by one from that little trade. Elk Revenge. Um, Matthew, since you have animals with you, I'm not going to have you on flea anymore. I want you to kind of attack in these situations. Because while hunting, you... Oh, there's two other predators out here. I think I'm going to actually draft you guys and have you take care of this. Philly is helping. Oh, no, he's just hunting. Um, actually, you know what? Do, do flee for now, because that can get you into trouble if we're not paying attention. And Philly and Matthew, um, let's take out these two predators while we're here. And Willow took a little bit of a hit there. Uh, just a bruise, you're okay. Although, man, you've got some serious damage. Your left kidney and your right lung are both destroyed. So your moving is poor now, huh? Uh, maybe, we, I mean, we can't really do much about that. You can't really do body part, uh, transfers for animals, really. Okay, so... So that lynx is down. Dead in three hours. We'll throw a hunt on there. And we'll try and take out this fox. Oops, totally missed that. Unforbid is the warg around here. Yes, it is. And it's a little bit hurt. Yeah, what the hell? Come on out here. Let's finish this off, too. Okay, now the work is down. Unforbid. Uh, getting a meal. Alcatraz getting something to eat right there. We'll bring these in at some point. There's another elk for us. Okay. Or revenge. Let's see. Um, so Arison's got her kidney. Um, you know, I was looking at this and thinking we should move this. I kind of liked it at first, but now that we're having turrets down here and defenses, I don't know. Maybe just keep this one. Because we do have some rich soil out here. And this kind of wouldn't be the worst place ever for a little... Uh, Kind of a little forest of pine trees that we can harvest maybe every couple of years. Uh, although I'd probably want to put a door into here if I did that. Or would here still be good? Uh, combat supplier approaching? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I certainly was thinking this is actually a mistake now that I look at it. It's nice for taking up cover here and knowing we're not going to blow up, but I mean, there, there's going to be plenty of times, I'm guessing, where we want this turret to shoot up if it needs to. So I just don't think it's worth it to do that. Um, so I think we have the same thing going on up here. Yeah. Less likely to be blocking anything here. I mean, you know, maybe I'll keep that one for now. I might regret it at some point. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's not blocking. Yeah, you know what? I don't want to be blocking lines of fire that extremely. Uh, so we got a combat supplier and our caravan is back. Excellent. Uh, let's find the supplier. See what they have. Muffalo's with them. Doesn't look like any are for sale. They all have packs on them, so that's just their traveling animals. Uh, Serrano, why don't you come and trade with Layla here? So you're selling shells, basic weapons... Um, I think we recently sold a bunch of weapons, so we might not have much to sell, though. We have 51% flak pants. We'll get rid of those. Yeah, we'll keep our Doomsday and our triple. Um, we'll keep this sh these three shield belts. We're not really a flak jack jacket group. It gets too cold here, so we go with flak vest and, and parkas. Um, oh, we oh, I still haven't put that sculpture in. Jeez, I keep getting distracted. Yeah, so I, I mean, unless we want to buy some of these shells, which, eh, I think we're actually okay. We do have a lot of money to spend. Yeah, I'll take five of each shell. Oh, they only have four. I'm like, <laughs> I thought I was going insane. I was hitting five on my number key, and then eventually I had to look at myself, hit it, and then saw four again, and still thought I was hitting it wrong. Okay. 
So they'll move on. We'll get a few more shells. Spend a little bit of money. Um, let's get that jade sculpture in. I think there's one of these bedrooms that still doesn't have any statues in it. Yes, right here. And here. Oh no, there's one here for you, so... Uh... I don't want to come all the way back here to... Yeah, it's already, it's already been moved, so it's almost easier to wait and then do it here. Okay. Um... Alright, we recently got someone that was jealous, right? And I don't know if... Yeah, they're jealous of ladies' bedrooms, so Huber. You're really jealous of ladies' bedroom? Well, now that she's got the statue. So that's actually fine. I'm, I'm okay with you using this. Because it's not... I mean, other than the statue, it doesn't have a ton of anything... Really anything special about it, so... Huber, there you go. And you should be over your jealousy now? Yes. Although you're in an unsightly environment. Where are you? I guess maybe it's a bit dirty. We could do some more with tiling and, and beautifying of our base here, but... Not too concerned with that yet. Uh, now that everyone's back, I definitely want to get these drills on. Chem fuel and steel. And do we go two steel drills? Like one here too. Yeah, I think we do. And this is still out of range of destroying anything like that. So let's build a copy of a plain leather chair. I think we've got tons of plain leather. And now hopefully we can have two or three miners going at once in the base. The chances of a bug attack go up, but um, I mean that was always always there anyway. And I'm really surprised we didn't find steel in here. I, I thought we were going to start hauling the marble for the floor. How is that going anyway? Eh, it's, it's it's going a bit. It's going a bit. Now, any place else where we want to maybe start looking for potential steel? And again, there might still be steel walls floating around, and there, this is steel too here. I think it's five steel per, those scraps. Although this is all full now. But Engie's getting to it, so. And now we're smelting too with Mal, great. Um, that doesn't mean I don't want to keep looking for potential steel. No, it's sandstone, marble. Yeah, it's possible there's something in here. I'm gonna go something like that. We'll just see. Maybe we'll get lucky. And then maybe we'll cut out this way and up a bit more. And I think if there was steel in here, it would certainly be visible from one of these paths. Just because they tend the patches tend to run pretty large. Um yeah, we do have lots of scraps. Something in here, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I think we pretty much exhausted it, would be my guess at this point. But we'll still look for a bit. Um, We had an issue with a fight down in this area recently with a charge rifle range. Um, let's see, Lions and Hugh, Matthew both, both uh, use charge rifles. Lions is sewing. I'm not going to interrupt him for that. Matthew is sleeping. We'll get to him in a second then. A meteorite has landed. Wow. Components. 179. Um, I'm going to leave that there for now. I don't want it counting towards our wealth yet. We don't need it, but it, uh, it's nice to know it's there. Um, I wonder if a sandbag would protect you from an explosion. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, Matthew's up, so I want Matthew to come down here. He was not even in range last time from here with his charge rifle. Yeah, it's still a bit too far. Um, hmm. Obviously, this would be too far. This is kind of where our snipers go. Do we... Hmm... I mean, is this too close? Yeah, that's that's too close. I mean, here isn't bad. I mean, actually, you know what? Maybe we, maybe we put you, like, right here. Even one back. And I think you'd be relatively safe from the gun there. So we'll build just a little two-cover thing here. I'll call it three. 
Yeah. So that'll be charge rifle location. Um, meanwhile, actually, let me keep you for a minute. Can you reach even up here? I'm going to have to do something similar. And here would maybe work out as well also. Uh, damn it. Yeah, I mean, that's almost there, but a lot of times they do camp right there, and I don't want you sitting there not firing if that's the case. Yeah. Are these all exactly the same length, basically? Huh. Well, I guess it is a straight line. But no, that's not going to work. So what about here? Um, go here. Yeah, maybe we'll just do a little bit of, uh, like, another two or three. We'll do a two right here. That'll be good. Okay, thanks, Matthew. Uh, so that w now we have a charge rifle spot. We've got shotgun spot, melee spot, sniper spot, assault rifle spot, slash minigun, slash LMG, probably, although we don't use that. Okay, um, here I know that the charge rifle works. Um... Alright, I'm happy with that, I guess. Um, let's see, so... This is still coming along. Do we want to maybe add another piece? 200 steel, 40 plastic steel, 3 components, 1 advanced component. Man, we are not bringing that steel in. Did we get the drill made yet? No, but that takes steel. Uh, 200 steel. I think that cost went up, but you don't have to deconstruct them anymore. So, I guess, I guess that... In the end, you spend less on steel. Um, mining should be a fairly high priority for those that mine. Yeah, Big Red's high up there. He constructs first, which is fine. I don't think we have too many projects going that we can... Other than the marble floors. Yeah, when we're out of marble, so what is Big Red doing? Sleeping. <laughs> uh, who else is a big miner? Uh, Burton. Oh yeah, but it is growing season. So presumably once a lot of these plants go down, we'll start growing. But then we've got guys like this p with passion. Julian, yeah, but you, you handle and cook first, which is probably fine. Yeah, I'll review some of these off camera uh, because th there were some guys on the caravan, miners specifically too, that probably need their adjustment or their priorities readjusted. That'll be good. Um, How are our crops doing? Do we get everything down? And if we did... Yeah, we're, we're pretty good at planting. Yeah, it looks like everything's down. Uh, we've got, we're back up to 110 meals. Not very much raw food, though. So I'm going to look at the wildlife tab again. Three turkeys, you bet. Um, maybe we'd go on a mega sloth hunting party. Are any nearby? Yeah, there's this one here. Um, oh, well, I guess these guys are prioritizing these, these tunnels over um, the drills. Which I think is good. You can see the uh, the geothermal disappearing there on the side. Um, yeah, there's one right up here. Although no one's really close except our animals. Wait, what? I'm just going to grab the first four and bring you out here. We need to get some food. Uh, we'll, we'll plant you right here. We'll wait for everyone. We won't get too close. I mean, the sloths can be dangerous, as I always say. Um... Oh, you guys are all assault rifles, huh? That's funny. Okay, that was fast. Berry bush. You might as well harvest. And is there anything else nearby, sloth-wise? There's a turkey up here. It's already set to hunt. Yeah, it's not, it's not that close. I'm not going to use five guys' worth of time to go after it. But you know what? I'm going I'm to bring you just down here. We'll just knock them all out real quick. It'll be kind of a wasted half day for all these guys. But we'll get a lot of uh, meat out of it. Okay. It's revenging. We'll just finish it off while we're here. Don't shoot Alcatraz, please. Thank you. Um, and we'll find the last one and do it. Uh, no, we'll leave that one there. We'll keep an eye on it, though. So the food's coming in. So yeah, I think I will get these trees down. Trees take a while to plant, but uh, the pine trees survive the winter, so it's overall it's not that much time we need to spend on it. And since we're getting rich, fertile soil, and we get a nice big square like this. Actually, I'll just I'll just expand it into all the soil. No, I don't want to do that actually. 
I do want to capitalize on the fertile soil and not spend too much time otherwise. This might be too big of a patch. It's going to take a long time to get in there. But we've got a lot of guys, so... Maybe they'll surprise me. It'll go fast. Uh, yeah, here comes lines right away. You can see. So he's cutting down one tree to get to make room. And yeah, you can just see how long it takes on full speed just to plant one tree here. We've got visitors. Nothing to trade. A few marble blocks we'll get in to try and help finish our floor. The stone cutting seems to be happening. Yeah, Mike's doing it now with marble. That's good. So I'll keep hauling marble as I see it. And yeah, we'll get this floor finished. It looks like we're more than halfway done. Get a little bit over here. Um, yeah, I guess I'm okay with them coming out this way to get up here. I don't think I'll throw in a door here. It just adds a little extra vulnerability. Uh, major break risk for Tika or Tinny. Uh, unsightly environment. You're insulted. Uh, oh, you have an impressive bedroom? Yeah. Julian took this. So yeah, I don't know what is causing them to lose their bedroom assignments. Um, it used to be going on a caravan. All bedrooms would, would go to unowned as soon as you left the map. Um... But then they they said they updated that to make that not the case, so you would retain ownership of your bedroom. But I still see guys switching and things. Um, and Tin, you're not in a relationship, are you? Yeah, you have a friend. That'll be interesting if you get in a relationship and want to sleep with someone, and then we have to manage your ascetic ways with, uh, you know, say Huber's <laughs> jealousy ways. All right, got lots of beer and joints. And tea. It's good to see. Things relatively peaceful right now. Floors going in. Crops going down. Food stabilizing a bit. Other, and we still got some muffalos to cut up. And a turkey. Two turkeys. We should be okay. Although, you know what? I don't like guys cutting through these doors to get where they need to go. That's why this area is getting so busy or so dirty. Yeah, um, this is kind of a waste of resources, but I'm going to, I'm going to deconstruct these two doors. I'm going to turn them into auto doors and people will hopefully prioritize this path over this path. And you know, maybe I'll make this actually a big stone door or something. Is that absurd? But yeah, I mean, this keeps getting dirty, and we do have food poisoning issues from, from from time to time. And our cooks are way too good for that to be happening. Oh, we don't have the steel for this. Damn it. Well, it'll, it'll come. It'll come. And I don't care if this room... I don't care about the temperature in the, in the butcher room, really. Um, and at least now the guys will definitely come this way, I'm guessing. And the auto doors are just as fast as no door if you're using wood. And maybe even steel. I think steel might also be instantaneous. I'm not 100% on that, though. Uh, but the wooden door is instant. It's the same as no door. Yeah, okay, so one's in. At least we're not outdoors in here anymore. Yeah, it's still not happening. You know what? I won't go stone door, stone door but I will go steel door. Well. Eh. No, I'm going to go stone door. I don't want people using this door, really. Uh, so deconstruct. And then we'll make it a uh, a granite door. That's the strongest. I, I don't think the, do the stones have any difference in open time. I think they're all the same. And they're all slow. But I'm going to be okay with this door being slow. Because really, I only want a cook to come in when he's going to cook. And that's it. And then at that point, he should be going in this way. And once that's done, I might put an auto door here, too. Um, actually, I don't want this to be an auto door after all. I'm going to make a wooden door, but I'm going to hold it open for the most part. And maybe I'll put an auto door on these two. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just make this a regular door and hold it open. That'll have the, essentially the same effect. It'll be fast, and there's really no need for a door to be here, although I do like the idea. The, the good thing about the door is it creates a room separation. So... This dining room is 
no longer thinks it has a butcher table in it. No. And honestly, I don't know why that is good in this particular case. Well, th this room, I think, tends to run a little bit dirtier, and I don't want it to affect the impressiveness of this room here while these guys are eating. And we'll hold you open. That's kind of what we have going on here. Like, this room right here is slightly impressive, but if this wall wasn't here and this was filled with smoke leaf, um, it would be harder to maintain that level because these carry, like, an ugliness to them. I mean, you can even see here a minus four for the smoke leaf, uh, just for that little stack. So all of this would be minus four... Uh, when full. But we have a door here, and uh, that's no longer the case. In fact, I should hold this one open too. Uh, yeah, as, and we're doing the same thing here. This room's beauty, not affected by this minus four going on over here. Separate rooms. Um, cool. Uh, oh, area revealed. So we did mine into something here. Oh, look at this. We found some gold. Uh, maybe we'll make a statue with it. Um, these chunks really slow your guys down, but I don't necessarily want to haul it because I really want to focus on making marble blocks right now, not um, anything else. Okay, looks like that's all the gold. Still no steel found, as far as I know. That was all we queued up, right? Just that block? That looks pretty ragged now, down here. Yeah, I guess that's about it. We might find more. Well, these are all down. Cool. Um, you know, I'm going to have our thrumbo not allowed here. It's going to be annoying because this is yet another area where the animals cannot um, haul from. I did clear, right? Yeah, but if, I mean, if he's just going to be snacking on these trees, then it's going to be a big waste to our planter's time. Because you saw how long it took to plant that tree. Yeah, so we won't get help, hauling help here for the most part from our animals, and that's too bad. I could make maybe a separate thrombo zone, but uh, I don't know. Seems like slightly too much micromanagement. And summer has begun. So the growing season is flying by. We're already, well, I guess only four days in, but we've only got this month and that's it. A couple of marble chunks we'll get in. Uh, shooting frenzy has ended. Yeah, those last a good long while now. That's nice. Do we have anything else going on in the world? That's right. We had someone, eleven enemies for a. Oh, it doesn't it doesn't tell me what they were? I mean, I guess I could look at our history in the messages. Uh. Yeah, it's there somewhere. I'm sure. So we could get more information. I don't know. I kind of feel like we have a lot to do at our base, although I do love going out and traveling. Cargo pods. Right in our base. Got a bunch of agave. Cool. We could use a little extra... A little extra meal crafting material. And I'll take a quick glance to see how this works. Are people maybe going through here more often? I mean, it's still getting dirty, but there, there was Philly in there to clean it. We're having trouble keeping up on food. Are we carrying too many animals now? Are we up to 20 people now? No, we still have 19. We'll go for these elk. Where did that mega sloth end up? Still kind of hanging out in the bottom right corner. Yeah, we're going through meals fast. I thought we kind of fixed that by moving lavish way down. I mean, our cooks are keeping up, it looks like. And we do have 100 meals, which isn't bad, but I'm not even sure how long that lasts for us. I, I, don't, I don't think it's that long. Five days wouldn't surprise me. But maybe it's longer. I don't know. And this is pretty much all floored. Got a little bit more to do here. Well, you can see all the, all the squares, really, but it's not too many. Considering each square is four blocks, uh, I don't know, like 60 blocks or so something like that maybe more oh no well this is nine here so yeah it's probably more like 20 block 20 squares okay cool well i think we'll leave it there kind of a quiet 
episode, but I'm glad our miners made it back. Uh, oh, bulk constrictor. We'll take a quick look at what they have, actually. Because we are in the market for a new muffalo. I kind of miss that muffalo. And we are... I didn't even look at our animal food, actually. You know, I think we are going to sell Ajax. Given our food situation, uh, I think we'll keep what we have and get rid of the puppy. He can go on a little space adventure. I mean, we're all trying to get off the planet anyway, so Ajax can uh, can be the first. Uh, dromedaries are a pack animal to consider. We've got all of our alpacas. We're down to four now, right? Yeah. Um. Anyway. Let's see what they have here. Yeah, we're going to buy just a bunch of meat. I guess we got tons of money for meat. We'll do that. Yeah, send us 2,000 silver worth of meat. And we're even going to take... I don't usually want to do this, but we'll take like 100 chem fuel. Nah, we're, we're, we're mining it now. We're making it. Uh, we haven't used our transport pods. They're filled up. We've got our shells. We don't have a pressing need for chem fuel. Uh, but we'll take all your... Neutro oh, you have 105 neutromine? We probably have around 100, too. We'll take 50. I can't ever not buy components, but we have so many now that I'll, I'll just keep it to two. One advanced. Um, we have some Devil Strand coming in finally. Are we making anything out of it? I, I don't see any red on our guys, so I have to kind of maybe look at that. Bird skin, light leather. You know, I'm going to sell this plain leather. I'd rather, I'd rather us make things out of the heavy furs and make more valuable items than keep using the plain leather for stuff. And then the small stacks we'll get rid of too. Oh, we did use the rhino letter for something. We had we had 200 for a long time. Um, What else we got? We'll sell you all the smoke leaf because I know we got 300, not in range of our beacon. Um, You don't sell luciferium. Steel, yeah, let's take 500 steel. And I'll take all your steel. And we will take... Shoot, we could... Yeah, let's buy the rest of our marble blocks. Uh... 300 should be plenty. Let's take all of our beer. Right, you buy clothes too. So we actually aren't going to be spending too much silver in this, on this in the end. Yeah, all these clothes. Oh, there's some Devil Strand pants, huh? Okay. You know, I'll keep those. They have nice qualities to them. So we'll keep those for our own guys. Um, yeah, you can see we make so many things out of plain leather and light leather, and it's not quite as valuable, so I want to kind of force them to use some of the heavy wools and things. Uh, like this. Uh, I won't sell this, actually. We'll use that. That'll be nice for us in next winter. Uh, we still have these hat bills going, which I guess I'm fine with. Uh, we're still doing fine on cloth and leather, so I'm cool making a little extra money this way with these hats and things. And... We made a thrumbo for a cowboy hat. Nice. I sell 64 gold. I don't think we need that much. And we'll come out on top. Uh, geez, anything else we want to buy then? We got all your all your still or steel. You have panoxyclean, huh? It's expensive though. Eh, we'll, we'll take it. If for no other reason than to keep our value down just a tiny bit with something that we're going to run through, but also very valuable to us, but not necessarily valuable when it comes to deciding raid strength. Um, all right, well, yeah, I, we'll leave it there after the trade, and uh, yeah, we'll continue our ship. We'll get the floor finished. We'll figure out what piece to build next, and uh, yeah, continue marching towards hopefully getting off this planet and seeing the end game. Thanks very much for watching, guys. See you next time.